everybody, we're back and we're doing something very exciting. Oh, welcome back to Long Story Short with Linda and Kaylee. We're back and we're so excited. We are gonna be doing some pumpkin carving. Me and Kaylee have been like obsessed with the Menendez story. Farben, Farben Company, pumpkins. Please. Oh my god. Now I know why we don't give you sharp things. Jose Menendez was this like music. He was in the music industry. I don't know what he did. And then later on in life, he wanted to be a politician. He want, That was a goal for, he wanted the Eric and Lyle to be politicians. The baggies are right there. <laughs> it smells so bad. This Here. was all Linda's idea too. And she's like, oh, it smells. But anyways, so he was, he. No, this scares me. No. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't You're like a big, I don't like big knives. They became millionaires. He married this girl. Her name was, I don't remember, but. Kitty. She goes, Kitty. But her real name, that oh. was her nickname. They got married really young. They're probably like, what, 21 or something like that? 20. Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't it smell horrible? No, it kind of smells like pumpkin. I cracked myself up. When I think of pumpkin, I think of like cinnamon. cinnamon. What? Pumpkin. Look at this apron that I have, Kaylee. <laughs> if you get that on me. Maybe you should have brought an apron. I guess there's different stories, right? Some people there's say so they... many different stories, and I think that's the reason why they weren't set free is because there's so many different stories that they gave. One of the stories, I guess, says that they actually bought the gun that night. Oh, for real? But one of them says that they bought it a week, a week prior. A week prior. Because they said they'd been planning a week prior. So Eric and Lyle walk in while... Um, Jose and Kitty are watching a show and they literally come in with shotguns and they just go to town. And they actually stayed in the house expecting, because they lived in this rich neighborhood. Beverly Hills. Yeah, and they were expecting that people would hear the gunshots and they would come and like be like, oh, what happened, whatever. But after nobody showed up for like, what, 10 minutes? I don't even know what the time was. Yeah. They were like, you know what? Let's we're outy. Yeah. Let's get out of here. They went to this basketball game. Basketball or, game. Basketball game. Or a movie or something. But they went and did something Wine after. Tasting. Yeah, they went and Wine did a lot. After. Remember that in the show? Yeah, I forgot they did that though. After a few hours of whatever, whatever they were doing, they decide that it's time to go home. Back to their parents. Expecting for the cops already be, already to be called or somebody already there. When they get there, there's literally nobody there. And then they ended up calling the cops. And have you heard the actual thing? No. Oh, you heard no. the actual? I heard the actual phone call. Oh, no. Wild. So it's Lyle on the phone. And Lyle is like my mom and dad's like bawling and you hear uh eric in the back and he's like screaming he's like no no mom because that helped their case none nothing seems genuine after that yeah you know that's the whole reason why everybody was like they didn't know if, if the dad really did what he did the cops get there they take them to the police station to do just regular like a statement and they're like it was the mafia like my dad <laughs> they did yeah they were like oh it's God. our dad was a little sketch and he did some business and he was he was running around with wrong people eric and lyle proceed to spend within like six months of after the after they committed what they did they spent seven hundred thousand dollars also take a moment for inflation cops and the investigators started like piecing it together was like mm, this is a little suspicious they were going to a therapist i don't remember his name do you remember his name dr ozeal yeah dr ozeal they were going to a therapist because they were um, breaking into houses they were breaking into houses and again didn't really help their case six months after what they did they eric tells ozeal. dr ozeal the therapist 
that they did it. Keep in mind, nobody knew at this point. Nobody knew other than Lyle and Eric that they were the ones that did it, you know? So Eric was pissed. I mean, no, wow. Lyle was pissed that Eric opened his trap. Which, how do you feel about that, Kaylee? I mean, obviously, you would be like, yo, why are you snitching on us? Like, we've been this far. Like, if it was, like, something little, but, yo, this is murder, dog. Like, he probably had so much weighing on him that he needed to talk to somebody. Yeah, talk to Lyle, though. Lyle, how it was depicted in the in the show, was kind of wild. I love you can, Lyle. You can only talk to that dude for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. In like actual life, everybody is like, no, he was super well mannered and super well liked. He looked well mannered and yeah, because they put him in polos. So Eric ends up telling the therapist that therapist calls Lyle and he's like, hey, let's go to the, come to the office. You need to be here. Eric, be Eric here. told me. I know everything. Yeah. And he's like, well, I don't know what everything is. So, <laughs> so... I think Eric is an idiot personally. <laughs> If you're gonna do you think, something, you think? I think if you're gonna do something, you gotta commit. You know what I mean? It's not like no, but it's weighing on him. I don't know what I want to do. Okay, did you scrape everything? Because it's harder. It's it's hard to do things. With... Bro, you really got in there. You have to. Okay, I need yours then. Okay, you can you borrow it. Thank you. You have it. You have to be, give it back though. Okay. Eric snitches, and Lyle goes to the office and is like, "Yo, bro, what? Yeah, like what, what are is you doing? What is telling all of it? Because." Because we didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. What did he tell you? Because he lied. Yeah. Like, he, he likes to make up stories. Yeah. He's, he's trying to say still, like, oh, they didn't do anything. Right. And Eric's sitting on the couch, looking like an idiot, saying, Lyle. He I knows. Him everything. Meanwhile, all this happens, Dr. Ozeal calls his mistress. Oh, that's true. Which, what was her name? Judalon. Judalon Smith. It's an ugly name. Judalon. Where did I get Leslie? <laughs> Where did I get Lydia? <laughs> she goes to the office after Dr. Ozeal calls and is like, yo, I have Eric and Lyle here and they just confess to the murders. You might want to get here. And so she puts on her big girl pants and goes up there and uh, she sits up there and she like watches and waits and Dr. Ozeal claims that they threatened him, and that's why the whole trial got taken, why the why the tapes got kept, was because Ozeal was threatened for his life. Judalon comes forward and is like, yo, I know where the tapes are being held, this, this, and this, okay? She wants to be a star, and also, she claims that Dr. Ozeal was, like, drugging her and was, like, doing all of doing all this kind of weird stuff to her. <laughs> just being a real creepo. But he was saying he was recording because he was in fear of his life. Because if the tapes weren't kept, then they can't really say they did or didn't. The only thing would be the shotguns in their truck. Or in their car. Wild. Get rid of the guns! You know, get rid of everything. <laughs> Don't get rid of your clothes, get rid of your shoes, get rid of get a haircut here's the thing, like, they had enough money to get rid of all of it they're so stupid i don't know why they didn't they were tested and they did have the brain capacity of a 10 or a 10 year old and an eight year old what yeah they got tested they didn't have because they were so dependent on their parents they didn't they had a mentality of an eight year old and a 10 year old no way yeah that's why that's why this whole time I was like, bro, that's why he needed to talk to somebody that wasn't Lyle. <laughs> it's like, it'd be like talking to the same person. <laughs> oh no. Okay, yeah, I agree. So, obviously the brothers get thrown in jail. So then the whole fight about the Dr. Ozeal being threatened got put into play. If you were in that situation and your doctor knows this about you, would you threaten their life? Yes knowing now that what happened to Eric and Lyle. I would have never, ever Murdered told. Parents, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're in jail, and Eric is like, freaking, he doesn't know how he feels about being around other men. He is living off of milk and a dream. And all Lyle wants is dimes and wig glue. <laughs> Kaylee. <laughs> He wants dimes so to... So he can call people. So 
we can call people because that's pretty much their only source of entertainment. That and as Eric was doing, getting blowies in the shower. That's one source. What one source says is that he was very popular in prison. Okay. So Leslie comes in and she had just won a prior case about somebody killing their parents for uh, sexual assault or like sexual abuse on a minor. Leslie was like, Eric, I'm just gonna tell you straight up, somebody doesn't kill their parents as graphic as you did and it wasn't for nothing. The reason why they ended up doing what they did was because one night they were at dinner and Lyle was gonna propose to his girlfriend and then they're like, you're not doing that, you freaking hypocrite or what a, a lot of they they had a fight at dinner they had a fight at dinner because eric was or lyle was saying like i want to oh, yeah, get married lyle. you got married young like why can i not get married young yeah and that's when the mom came over and ripped off uh lyle's wig lyle's wig yes his no his toupee his, his wig his little toupee this was the first time eric even saw lyle had a wig had a wig like he had a wig like he was he was gagged. He was gooped. He was like, <laughs> he was like, yo, snatch your wig. Lyle runs off and Eric follows. follows him and he's like, why don't you tell me? And they had this very intimate talk. And then that's when Eric finally told Lyle how his dad had been molesting him. I think Lyle knew. I don't think he knew how bad it was. Lyle got pissed and was like yo 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 whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. stop 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 because and some of y'all may be sat here and never have heard this story and they're like well what about the mom why did the mom have to die the mom knew the whole time that the dad was molesting the kids some sources say that oh i've heard that too yeah she was also, also doing inappropriate things so the mom was doing weird stuff too, because I know some of y'all at home that may have never heard this were like, yo, what do you mean? Why did the mom have to die? Because they were asked that too, the Eric and Lyle. They were asked, why does the mom have to die? Because it was not, this death wasn't like a bop. It, it was, was like a, the they had war. to go reload because the mom was fighting for her life. They had to go reload the gun. Yeah. They also claim, again, they had many different claims. Okay. There's a lot. There's so a lot. they were saying they were going to leave. And Jose was like, no, Eric, go up to your room. I'll be there in a minute. And it was right around the time that Eric had told Lyle what has been going on. Lyle was like, you're not going to be touching my brother anymore. And that's when they claim it kind of hits Jose and is like, oh, Eric has told Lyle about what has been going on. Which um, Eric had, been, had said that... Jose claimed if he had ever told anybody that he would kill him. Lyle and Jose had had a talk maybe a couple days later. And Lyle claims that he felt very threatened. And this is when the planning started to happen because it was insinuated that Jose was going to kill him. I personally don't doubt it. I don't either. I think if Jose would have done it, Nobody would have ever found out. No, I don't think so either. Well, so in the in the show, the boys thought they were going to die at that fishing trip. Imagine being so rich that you go shark fishing. Yeah. Which I don't even know how that much that costs. But <laughs> I can only imagine. I, I don't know what the plan was. Obviously, I was not there. I wasn't even a thought yet. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So Eric and them kind of stick to themselves. Blame it son. on the rain. <laughs> That's, that song has had a resurface of amount. Mm -hmm. They did say though that at the um, at the funeral, uh, they, did they really play that song? Not that song, but the other song. I'm gonna miss you, baby. Yeah, that song. They Twitter. did. They did play that song. How come they never told Doctor Ozeal? First of all, it was kind of good that they didn't tell Doctor Ozeal because Doctor Ozeal's a freaking snitch. <laughs> Judalon was a snitch. Why does Judalon know? You know yeah, what I you're mean? right. Dr. Ozeal was a snitch. Like, oh, look. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Everyone was like, how come nobody knew that 
Jose was molesting his kids. Which is also the okay. reason why people would not believe him. They probably wanted to keep that really private, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, because in the show, all, I keep referring to this show, guys, I'm sorry. And it's not like a good show either. They, Eric and Lyle have come out about, well, Eric has came out about what he thinks about the show. He didn't like it. The best thing from that show is when Eric goes, the guy who plays Eric, Cooper Koch or whatever his name is, he does like a 30 minute straight scene. Yeah, that was pretty good. Straight. And relatives claim they knew. Like, it was said, if Jose was with the boys, you are not allowed anywhere near that floor. And they would take showers together. Right. The cousins went and said, like, oh, yeah, they would tell us about how they would take showers with their dad. Or, oh, yeah, the, with the one... Uh, and if you're, like, a baby, like a baby... Blame it on the rain. I'm getting so mad at this little mouse. Okay, I'm done. If anybody wants to know. Okay. If we go back, they're so gonna they, kill themselves. So they finally, <laughs> they finally go and tell. Well, Eric does. Eric finally goes and tells Leslie, "Hey." Me and my brother were molested by my dad. And she's like, <laughs> bingo! She's like, she's like, yo, I've been around the block before. She's like, I know what to do. She gets the whole explanation, everything. It's it's a beautiful scene in the show for how long it was. Holy crap. Then they bring Lyle in. And Lyle's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> really? Then he's trying to deny it. I forgot. And then, yet again, he figures out that Eric ran his big mouth. They finally have this sort of offense that they're going to take on the stand using this story because the defense has now had the proof that uh, Dr. Ozeal felt threatened and did get threatened by Eric and Lyle. The, I love Lyle. The recordings have to be used in court. So it's no denying that they killed their parents. They can't deny it. At oh, this we point. forgot to tell them. While they were, did we tell them that? And while they were being there, when they were in therapy, they were being recorded. Yes, the tapes or the tapes. Because if the tapes, maybe we didn't. Guys, if you didn't know, that's the whole point. What Judalon gave to the police was the recordings. <laughs> they get the recordings, and the defense has this now. And it's kind of like, okay, we can't say we didn't kill our parents because we've already said we did. The defense is saying, well, you have Leslie on there who just won a case for sexual assault. Now they're going to make up this sexual assault thing. Why has nobody ever heard of this before? So then they start getting the cousins to come forward. The cousins are saying they were showering together. Nobody was allowed on that floor. I think one of the uh, girls' uh, uh, cousins... What? I just had a stroke. Ugh. Blame it on the rain. Lyle goes on the stand and he gives the stand of a lifetime. He literally does like, he has the, the court crying. He's got Eric crying. They tell the story about how Lyle used to molest Eric because that's what he thought was right. He was little. He was little. He was like young, young. And so obviously he didn't know any better. And so now they're both crying and he's like crying and apologizing. Very moving. Very. It was good. Very. Which also. Very tearful. And Eric, Eric has came and he said like, I forgive him for that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't blame him. And that's where one of the first things of the defense starts to come in. And one of the biggest critics of the show is why did there have to be an incest plot line in the show? It made me uncomfortable. That one scene where they're doing coke, well, Lyle did some coke, and then they're dancing and they're like all up on each other and everybody's looking. I was like, yo. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's who like was, one of the who first was scenes. dancing? Was it Eric dancing with a girl and then Eric was dancing with a girl and Lyle was doing a line of coke. <laughs> <laughs> and then Lyle does his line of coke. Gets it done real quick. And then he sees, and he's like, oh. And then he goes and starts dancing it's with so Eric. Weird. And it's like, pushes the girl out of the way. Yeah. 
And then everybody starts looking, and Eric is, like, wiping away the coke off of Lyle's nose. And is, like, putting it in his mouth. Very, very weird scene. The whole, like. the whole incest plot line is that Eric and Lyle were macking, and that Kitty found out, and they were like, yo, we gotta kill our parents if we want to be together. <laughs> Which, I hate that. Kind of wild. Kind of very wild. I don't think very many people ever believe that story. What were we talking about? Eric and Lyle? <laughs> Shut the... <laughs> um. So then the defense was like, well, let's come up with a new thing. So then they came up with the money that Eric and Lyle solely killed their parents to get inheritance funds. Which also cuts back to... Did he actually sleep with the safe? So, they had their dad's safe, and they went over to their friend's house. <laughs> we just got stirred out like this. <laughs> Eric and Lyle had their dad's safe, and they went over to Eric's friend's dad, who was like a lawyer or something, and could open the safe for them. Yeah. And the dude's dad says, hey, we can't open it. So... Eric slept with the safe on a couch because Lyle said, this is your fault, you deal with it, you <laughs> sleep with the safe. And Lyle. so they did. I love Lyle. And then they opened up the safe the next day, and again, this is where the story takes a turn. Where it was like, they do have eight-year-old brains. <laughs> Lyle says... <laughs> They're so dumb, bro. <laughs> they didn't have the mental capacity. They're freaking idiots. Okay, anyways. Lyle is like, oh my gosh, it's my dad. Let me go be the one to go look. He goes in there alone. Keep in mind that this is, most of this are, what we're saying is from the show. So if you haven't seen the show, or if you're not getting your sources from the show, you need to watch the show. Good. Which, I'm not saying the show is 100% true or 100% false. I don't know. It's just what I'm going off of right now. Okay? Lyle goes in there, opens up the safe, and is like... There's no, there's no will. <laughs> no, there was a will. There was no will. Oh, that's right. Then they're at the house. I forgot. Then they're at the house. The cleaning lady. What's it called? The maid. <laughs> I, I was like, what's the, what's the proper term for it? The maid is like, sir, sirs, I found it. And it's the will. Imagine if the will would have been like, they don't get anything. Do you think they would have killed the maid? I don't know. I don't know. Or do you think you would have paid the the, the maid off? Mm, probably, like, probably paid the maid off. Lyle wanted to kill Dr. Ozeal. No, supposedly. Oh, allegedly. 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 The will says that Eric and Lyle are the sole benefactors of Kitty everything. and Jose's. Of everything. I can cut it. Over the bag. Over the bag. Over the bag. In the show, it said that after they got caught breaking into houses, Jose said that they were never going to get another dime from them in the will. So then the whole story that the defense uses is that the boys killed their parents to get the money from the will. Yeah, that it was it wasn't a crime of protecting themselves. It was a it was crime a crime of, of greed. Yeah. They wanted the money. And again, it didn't really help that they spent seven hundred grand in the span of six months. Seven hundred thousand dollars. I don't even know what I would do with seven hundred thousand dollars right now if I got it. They were buying like new cars, new I would clothes. New... I would donate a hundred thousand dollars of it. Oh, that's a B. That's a B. Is it on me? Blame it on the rain. And so they do the first trial, and the jury is undecided. The women on the jury were like, we were so moved, da 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 da. Again, here's where a stupid point comes in. Lyle decided to get on the phone with this lady <laughs> named Nora or something. Yeah, Nora. Nora. And Nora was like, sweet talking to him. Oh, oh yeah, da da da, I believe you. Was recording their conversations and wrote a book. And in one point, Lyle goes into detail about how such a good performance he did on the stand. Wait, is this, is this, do you think this is true? It's an actual book. After the jury is undecided and this book comes out and everybody sees it. First of all, Lyle's um, attorney quits, which he did not have Leslie. He had um, 
Get I don't another know. one. Uh, he, he, what, Pam or whatever her name was. I don't know. <laughs> and so that lady quit. And then it's all up to Eric now. And in Eric's first thing in the first trial on the stand, he did terrible. He kept like popping the mic. It was just, it was not good. Everybody said he looked crazy up there. It was just, it was not it, sis. It was not it. They have to figure out this new strategy that they're going to use with Eric being the sole person to go on the stand in the second trial. And you may be wondering, well, why can't Lyle go back up? If Lyle did such a good performance, why can't he go again? Are did you say that there was a second trial? Yeah. Okay. He can't go back up in the second trial because they would have brought up the evidence from the book. Talking about how he did such a good performance and all this. They just, they could not use him on the stand or else the defense would have a heyday on him. Around this time is when OJ is running from the cops. <laughs> And I guess OJ and Eric and Lyle were um, housed at the same uh, prison. Anyway, so OJ gets acquitted. Which, if he got, that man is a murderer. <laughs> that OJ I is a murderer. I don't know the real thing about OJ. You I don't? Think, I don't think I've ever actually sat and actually tried to figure out the real thing well, about OJ. Well, lucky you, because you would probably be pissed. Blame it on the rain. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> OJ gets acquitted, and Leslie and Eric and all of them start talking, and I think this is the first time when Eric and them start having doubts, like, there's no way that they're going to let both of us get off. Like, there's no way. Yeah. And so, they go, they stand trial, la 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 la. Basically, at this point, I feel like the boys started realizing that it was time to fight for their lives. Not so much outside of the prison, but inside. Because yeah. they were going to be put on the death row. And so they were mostly trying to fight for not getting the death penalty. And so after the second trial, it's decided that they are guilty, but they would not get the death penalty. They would be sentenced for life. They did not have a possibility to get parole. For life, bro. They are now in prison for life. They got separated and they prisons. didn't know they were going to get separated. The last time that they saw each other was in court over 20 Again, years. Again, a stupid point because they were planning on how to break out. They were doing breakout plans and they got caught and that's the whole reason of like, oh well, if they plan their parents' murder and now they're planning on how to escape, I don't think we should really let them be in the same prison. Fair. Fair. They had the minds of 10 and 8 year olds, so we gotta give them a break. We gotta give them mercy. I definitely think that they did something wrong. You know what I mean? Like, I, I definitely think that they needed to be punished because let's say that they do have the mentality of an 8 and a 10 year old. They need therapy and they need prison because they need to know the consequences of their action. And I just therapy, don't know about life. I also don't know about life. I don't know. I don't think Gypsy Rose should have got out. And the, and the Menendez brothers don't get out. So anyways, that's the story of Eric and Lyle Menendez. And that they murdered their parents in a gruesome way. And now they will be in prison for life. For life. Maybe. There's Maybe. Some, there's some to new be continued. Stuff. Yeah, to be continued. We'll let y'all know. Um, but now it's time for the pumpkin reveal. <gasps> oh my gosh. Pick your winner in the comments below. Number one, number two. Because Every, we get to have you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. So sad. <laughs> we love you guys so much. Stay blessed. Always. And don't forget to subscribe. Watch last week's video and all our videos before. Keep in tune because we're going to have a whole month of Halloween Inspired. videos. We love you so much. Bye. Bye. Blame it on the, the rain. rain. Blame it on the 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 rain.